The first season of House of the Dragon challenged viewers with a complex array of introductions and time jumps, but the second season simplifies the narrative, setting the stage for an intense civil war driven by vengeance and emotion rather than strategy. While it still doesn't fully replicate the allure of Game of Thrones, this prequel has embraced the brutal palace intrigue well enough to become a compelling saga, the throne's battle intensifies with life-or-death stakes, featuring Queen Rhaenyra, Emma Darcy, and her uncle-husband demon, Matt Smith, squaring off against Rhaenyra's former friend Alicent, Olivia Cook, and her sons, including Aegon, Tom Blyn Carney, who has claimed their late father's crown, true to its title, the Targaryen. Conflict showcases dragons from both factions, serving as medieval air power and a formidable deterrent. Unlike in the original series, where dragons took time to become pivotal, they are now central to military strategies and rarely disappoint when deployed. Although many series have attempted to rival thrones in spectacle and grandeur, House of the Dragon stands out for its impressive scope and scale. Under executive producer Ryan Condal and co-creator George R.R. R. Martin, the new season is more streamlined and focused, juggling returning characters and introducing a few key new ones. At its heart, the women remain central, Renera, grappling with grief, contends with the fiery demon, while Alicent and her father, Otto Hightower, Reese Evans, manage the erratic Aegon, whose reckless decisions threaten their cause. HBO's release of the first four episodes reveals a deliberate pacing, with each hour delivering at least one jaw-dropping moment. The season premiere sets a high bar with its intense, graphic scenes, preparing viewers for the drama ahead, the path to victory is paved with violence, as Hand of the King Hightower grimly observes. Similar to the Acolyte in the Star Wars universe, House of the Dragon benefits from exploring its backstory, building audience allegiance to its characters and intricate mythology, after a bumpy start, House of the Dragon has found its stride, taking bold creative risks. While Game of Thrones may have faltered at its conclusion, it hasn't diminished the appetite for Westeros's visceral storytelling. The Targaryen War's prosecution poses risks for both its characters and creators, yet it has evolved into a worthy successor, inviting fans to relish the wickedness of Westeros once more.